Well, one town in Germany has finally figured a way to stop refugees from coming into their town. In an article posted by DPA International, German authorities suspected arson in two blazes at damaged shelters planned for refugees in northern and southwestern German Germany on Sunday. A multi-family house planned to house refugees was set on fire in the coastal city Rostock on Sunday, police said. A two-meter square section of the building's attic was burned, and state authorities are investigating a xenophobic connection to the incident. It is unclear if the unoccupied building, located on a federal highway, can still be used to accommodate migrants, police said. In Wertheim, a fire at a sports hall intended to house additional refugees meant the southwestern German town will be unable to accept more migrant arrivals, a regional official said. The blaze broke out late Saturday night in the building, which has the capacity to hold 400 people, but is now in danger of collapse. No more refugees will come to Wertheim, as there is no additional emergency accommodations, Hermann Schroeder from the Baden-Württemberg state government said. Wertheim is currently accommodating 600 migrants already. Police suspect the fire was started deliberately. Two cars belong, belonging to members of pro-refugee initiatives were set on fire in northeastern Nuremberg on Saturday. Both vehicles were completely burned out, and a nearby van was also damaged. No one was injured in the blaze, which police suspect was politically motivated. Regional Interior Ministry spokesman Ingo Decker said on Sunday. Brochures and stickers that read refugees not welcome were found on the doors and lanterns in the area.